niliamka kutengeneza nywele and this is what i got imagine nadi nika lose like manze and now today being mother's day and then we supposed to be surprising my mom yet and i'm in surprise ona tu tena venileta ona tu just have a look a brand new crochet a new one i mean hey hey thank you mom thank you so much you actually the best happy mother's day to you hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is essie and in case you're new here kindly do not forget to subscribe like share comment and also turn on the notification bell so today being a wednesday we have a hair tutorial yeah today i'll be showing you how to do to crochet your own hair and achieve a natural afro look yeah so the first thing you're going to section your hair starting from the front side yeah from one side you section done with sectioning your hair you can either decide to flat twist your hair or control it depends with whichever method you you're good to do yeah but as for me I decided to do a flat twist since once I'm done with doing this hair I'm going to undo it <laughs> all around my head then flat twisted at the back as you can see from this video here yeah and that was how I flat twisted and remained with the rest of the hair so today we'll be using Mali braid from angels yeah and I felt like it was too long so I had to divide each strand by two then we'll also need a sleeping net yeah, I believe you all know this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Then we'll also need a crochet needle. For the hair that we left in the middle of the head after flat twisting all around the head, we'll go ahead and do matutas. <laughs> you can either choose to do normal matutas or you twist them. Yeah, I'm sure.
and that's how my matuta look like <laughs> well this looks a bit crazy but that's what we need today for our crochet here yeah yeah and if your hair is too long you can even do four or two yeah it all depends on you then on those matutas you're going to put on your sleeping net yeah this is where we were going to use it for today's hairstyle After I divided each strand into two, I was left with such a piece. Yeah, so here you're going to pick your crochet needle when it's open. You put it inside your hair and the net. You should make sure that it, it gets hold of your hair and the net. Then you put the hair, you close the pin, then you pull. Then you do like I'm doing here. Like so, then you tie it so that it can hold on tightly to your hair and the net then you go on you insert the needle when it's open put your hair inside the crochet needle close it then pull then you do like so and pull yeah and it's as easy as that That's how my hair looks like once I'm done with crocheting. Yeah, and I feel like it looks as if it's natural. Then I'll advise one if you want good results, you make sure your hair you've crocheted your hair closely together as you're seeing here. Yeah, then you hold all the crocheted hair together using a hairband, like I'm doing. <music> you're done with undoing the controls you use a comb i'd rather you use a comb that is that has bigger volume in between its spaces yeah to comb your mali hair so that it can be a bit natural and look organized like i'm doing here so you comb it you comb 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 you comb then for the parts that you feel as if they are not balanced you can use your scissors to trim them like i'm doing
comb the hair then accessorized it and used a little bit of gel and i love the look yeah and soon i'll be doing a video on how to style this hair in different ways so stay tuned yeah that's our final look and i'm in love with it so thank you very much for watching till the next time we upload a new video have yourselves a lovely time i love you guys bye Mwah.